Hey guys, what's up? Friend Dushan here. Welcome to the new video and this video is sponsored by uh, Process Machina. Uh, the Process Machina is a company that produces recycling machines and uh, recycling plants all around the world uh, with a very very high efficiency. The link to the company site is down in the description. Trust me, go and visit their site. Uh, you can find there very very good stuff. Uh, if you want to uh, do some uh, e-waste recycling and uh, catalyst converter recycling or uh, some other precious metal uh, recovery, uh, you can find on this site very very good quality machine if you want to uh, make e-waste recycling on the big scale. Okay? Today video is about tantalum. In the near time, uh, tantalum recycling is uh, start to be big stuff in the world. Electronic industry grows, uh, stuff getting smaller and smaller, and capacitor need to be smaller and smaller. Uh, so everybody needs tantalum, and uh, tantalum recycling future can bring you a lot, a lot of money. I already have a couple of videos about tantalum. Uh, I will put a link to that videos, and uh, in that videos I, I already do uh, even a tantalum recovery and some uh, tantalum identification. But today uh, I got some amount of different tantalum, and I want to show you some pictures of different types of tantalums. Just you be sure that uh, you don't miss anything. Uh, on the electronic board, okay? So, if you see that tantalum, grab it because one day, trust me, very, very soon, tantalum recycling will uh, become a very, a very big stuff uh, in the future, okay? I even once uh, tried to melt some tantalum anodes, but unfortunately, because uh, tantalum have a very big uh, point of uh, melting and uh, with the acetylene torch I didn't success. It's uh, easy, it's very easy uh, for a home recycler uh, or a refiner uh, to recover some tantalum. It's a uh, normally it's just a mechanical way, uh, mechanical step, but uh, if you want the recovery tantalum on the big scale or if you want to recover tantalum, to refine tantalum, to do very very high, high purity, uh, you need some serious serious machines. And trust me, uh, this company from the Istanbul, Turkey, they produce a very very good quality machines uh, and plants for uh, tantalum recycling. And not just tantalum, they actually produce machines for. Uh, some uh, refining, gold refining uh, for other noble metal like palladium, platinum, uh, uh, and other precious metal. They produce very good and quality machines. So go to the Process Machina site and check every stuff which uh, they produce. And trust me, you won't be sorry. Okay. Okay, guys. So right now, in the, my last video, I show you. Uh, a lot of different tantalums, but for today I'm gonna show you a couple of more one. I make a couple of categories of the tantalum here. I already show you every of these tantalum, almost every of this type of tantalum in my different videos, but once again I want to show you the for just in case you not miss anything. So what we have we have on the older boards mostly have this metallic shaped tantalum here so we got different shape and color it's a metallic box you see that if you see capacitor with this nipple on the top and the plus it's tantalum so we got a couple of these sort it's metallic shape very very different size and color 
this is actually a yellow foil and this is transparent foil so you see that it's big one middle one small one and we got the same type but with a different uh, size size okay more one type which is uh, in my case very rare for me it's actually a wet tantalum you see that I got just one or two and uh, sometime they have a silver canister even these contain sometime a silver canister always check for that and when you open inside you will find some nice tantalum foil this is just a small one so the foil is not too much bigger see that I even have a one a blue one little metal and when you open these little guys here inside you will find some nice tantalum metal like this one this wire is a tantalum pure metal tantalum and this round part down there it's a tantalum oxide you see that very nice colors here so the next step so the next step is a this plastic one see that this first is a black see the shape and the look always plus from the top and we got some yellow one there it's the same shape but different color and some pink and some pink one see that and the most common in the new boards it's actually this type of tantalum this is the yellow one you see we got some bigger deep one and middle one small one see that this is mostly from the cell phone and this is mostly from electronic boards the same type, type is here with, uh, with this orange one it's same tantalum just color is different and the shape also it's a very different with uh, the same plastic one it's a uh, this one this black one with plus always uh, when contain plus it's tantalum and the mostly it's three different size small one middle one and big one and uh, and this black one with the uh, which don't contain plus it's a sometime tantalum and sometime can be niobium for us it's very difficult to uh, recognize them so the best stuff is uh, just keep everything but separate this without plus from this with plus okay when you crack this little guys mostly inside you can find this type of anode black square anode with wire it's the same stuff like uh, from that metallic but just a different shape okay and the epoxy type it's actually these little guys so very very strange colors and different size and colors we have in this type of tantalum the yellow one mostly they got see they line and the plus which means that is a tantalum we got the yellow one got the uh, darkness green one uh, white green one we got some blue one couple of shades of blue we got i call that uh rainbows i call that a rainbow tantalum when they got more than one color we got red one gray one and uh, you see that the small one is tantalum too okay and uh, when you open these guys you'll find the same stuff like in the metallic very 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 nice tantalum anode so the last which i got in my collection is actually ceramic it's actually ceramic tantalum capacitor see that they got different different size and shapes but mostly they look like mlcc's but uh, at the bottom you see got two nipples and uh, it's uh, actually ceramic same like uh, mlcc's but inside you got some nice 
10 tom anode. It's much bigger mostly than MLCCs. And inside, when you open these guys, you will find this type of anode. See that? And mostly, when you do some, except the foils, when you do some uh, tantalum recovery, every these shapes and size will lead you to this. This is a pure tantalum anode which I recover. See, very, very nice colors. So I keep that and uh, one day have some bigger amount, I will sell that, okay? So guys, if you not yet start to collect some tantalum, start right, right away. Uh, because the uh, price of the tantalum capacitor is uh, from maybe a $50 per kilogram to the $200, $300 per kilogram. Depends on the capacitor, on the buyer and uh, of course uh, all the amount of tantalum which you in your possessed okay this is just tantalum which i have in my stash but let's go to see some pictures uh, about uh, some other other one size and shape of the tantalum the old one the new one and of course you got some big difference between uh, American, European and Russian types of tantalum. Okay guys, uh, for the last 100 years, uh, people civilization uh, is already take a lot of amount of metal uh, from the earth and uh, in the future, the, all the factories in the world, uh, they need a lot more and more different metals, but uh, metals like steel, lead, uh, tin and, uh, and that uh, other metals which we see on every corner exists on the lot place but uh, metals like uh, tantalum, uh, niobium, uh, germanium, indium, ruthenium and etc etc they start to be uh, very rare uh, they got uh, just a couple of mines 
in the worlds and uh, the reserve uh, getting smaller and smaller so now i think it's the right right time to start just uh, recover if you if you cannot refine some metals uh, just start uh, recover and stockpile metals uh, for the future because uh, the money is just paper but metals it's always always good investments uh, so always you can do that on the small scale like I do like other uh, refiner and uh, e-waste recycle hobbyists do or you can do that on the bigger scale if you want to start some company recycling business uh, in the big scale other company like process Burkina is actually just the right company for you so this is the video for today and uh, I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share uh, hit that bell for a notification and of course support my channel on the library platform you can find all these my videos which I have on YouTube I have on the library platform this video is being sponsored by Protest Machina. The link to the site is uh, down there in the description. And I will see you in some next video. Cheers, guys. Friend Ocean out.